In this video, I'll show how you can use Excel to work with matrices. I'm not going to talk about how the mechanics of multiplying works. I'm just going to assume that you know the rules of multiplication. So this video is just going to be about how to multiply, uh, how to do this multiplication determinant and inverse of a matrix using Excel. So I have two matrices here, both 3 by 3 matrices. and we know that if we multiply these two, I'm going to get a 3 by 3 matrix as a result. That is something you need to know before you can use Excel for doing matrices. I know it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix, so select a 3 by 3 cell, so that's 3 rows, 3 columns. And the command for multiplication is called mmult, so that's M-M-U-L-T, and open a bracket. It asks for array 1 and array 2. So array 1 is your first matrix so click and select that comma and then the array 2. Close the bracket and since we are entering this as an array on a selection you need to press Control shift and enter and that pastes the equation the formula as an array formula. So and that's kind of, and if you look at the equation up here it shows the same equation with the uh, curly brackets uh, on the formula bar anyway that's the multiplication of a times b and i can change these values and it changes with that as you'd expect in excel and the the command to find the determinant is for multiplication it was m mult this one is called m determ that's d e t e r m open bracket and it asks for the array. So I'll just work out the array of matrix, uh, the determinant of matrix A and just hit enter and it works it out as minus 4. And finally to find the inverse of A, we know that the inverse will also be the uh, square matrix of the same size. It's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So select 3 rows and 3 columns equals and the command is called M inverse. Open bracket. I'll select that matrix there. Close the bracket. And then once again, it's Control Shift and Enter. And that's the inverse of that 3 by 3 matrix. And this is a command that works quite well in Excel. Inverse as well as multiplication. And the matrices can also be quite large. I think the limit is about 50 or 60 rows and columns. And this was just one of the assignments that I had. And worked out here is the inverse of a 12 by 12 matrix and started with like 16 by 16 matrices so it's a command that does work quite well and just for the heck of it let's see what the inverse of matrix B is so equals M inverse and then select that array control shift and enter and that's the that seems like an interesting inverse it's just a diagonal uh, wonder what the determinant of that matrix is equals m determ select the array and enter well if you need to do multiplication of three matrices so let's say a times b times c so I'll, I'll call this my matrix c and let's just put some values in If you want to do A times B times C, once again I know it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. You need to work that out first, always. So what's A uh, times B times C? So select the matrix and this has to be entered as a nested command. So select the first matrix, comma, and then the second. So now this calculates A times B. Oops, that's not good. Let's do that again. Equals M mult. Select the first matrix, comma the second matrix, close bracket, don't hit enter. So this entire command here will find will give us a three by three matrix for A times B. So we need to multiply that with C. So I'll make this my first element, so M mult again use this matrix as my first array the product of A and B and then make my second array the matrix C and control shift and enter 
and that gives a times b times c just to make sure it worked I have a times b here already so let's try equals m mult that's array a times b comma or matrix a times b times matrix c control shift enter and looks like it does work 